Three squares are positioned side by side. The lengths of the sides are 3, 4, and 5 as shown. Three statements are true, one is false. Identify the false statement. Let's begin with A. AB squared. So this length here is 3, since this is a square with sides of length 3. That would be 9. 3 squared is 9. Plus BC squared. So this length here is 4, because we're part, it's part of the square with sides of length 4. So that is 16 equals PD, which is 5, since this is a square with sides of length 5. That is 25, 5 squared. So this is true. AP equals 13. So this is the hypotenuse of this right triangle, ADP. So we, here we have a right angle. We have a length of 5. Here we have a length of 12, which is 3 plus 4 plus 5. So this is a special right triangle. We have 5, 12, this is 13. This length here is 13. You can use the Pythagorean theorem to double check, but this is a special right triangle. This is correct. All right, triangle QRA is similar to triangle DRP. Well, all we need to do is show that the angles are all congruent to show that this is true. So here, we, these angles are congruent since they're vertical angles. Uh, let's and then let's do something real quick. Let's finish this rectangle. I'm going to extend these sides out so that it becomes a little more clear. Now here, if we're let's show that this angle is congruent to this angle. So this line is parallel to this line, which means that this transversal cuts through two parallel lines. Therefore, the alternate interior angles are congruent. So this is true. Now. This angle here is congruent to this angle here because this line here acts in the same exact fashion as a parallel line with this as the transversal cutting through. Therefore, this alternate interior angle and this one are also congruent. So since we have three pairs of congruent angles, these triangles are similar. Now, finally, triangle QRA is isosceles. This is not true. So while this length here is 13, this length here is more like 12.4 because this length is 3. And so we have a right triangle with 3, 12, and, and so this is not the same length, this diagonal and this diagonal. These diagonals do not bisect each other. So this length here is not equal to this length here because these are not the diagonals of a rectangle or a square, these are, uh, yeah, they're not bisecting each other. You can also see that this angle here is not necessarily congruent to this angle here. So, and that would be required for this to be an isosceles triangle. So since these two lengths are not equal and these two angles are not congruent, triangle QRA is not isosceles. The answer is D.